Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy feed picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 7th of 2023 well, it is titled Space Stations in Low Earth Orbit. So what do we see here? Well, we see two space stations streaking across the sky. And these are, include the International Space Station, which is uh, down below kind of a straighter uh, line there traveling across the sky lower to the horizon. And the uh, Tiangong space station in the arc up above which actually goes very close to the Big Dipper, which is the very top of this image. And you can see the seven bright stars of the Dipper inverted in the sky here. Now these are both uh, space stations and they are in low Earth orbit. And that means they're relatively low only a few hundred miles up above Earth's surface. And when that because of how quickly they move there we see them move very, very fast through the sky. They're only visible for a short period of time. But things like the International Space Station are visible to the naked eye if you know when and where to look for your from your location. And that is something you can look up and see if you want to tell where uh, that's going to be visible when the space station will cross the sky during the uh, generally uh, right after sunset or, or so uh, when it is nicely visible and will still be reflecting sunlight but will be in the darkness part of the sky. So you can see those and actually look at them here and we see two of them two of space stations here. Uh, again, the Tiangong one up near the Big Dipper at the top of the screen the International Space Station down near the constellation of Cassiopeia very close to the horizon just left of center and shaped in this case almost as five bright stars in a W shape. They are very close to the beginning of the visibility of the space station uh, in the sky. Now those two constellations, well I should say constellation and asterism, the constellation of Cassiopeia and the asterism of the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is not a constellation itself but is part of the Great Bear, the Ursa Major constellation. So we see uh, those two happening to pass very close and those are known as circumpolar constellations, meaning that they would be always visible from certain locations. If you're far enough north, they would be always visible at the sky. And they all the stars, including these objects, appear to make circles around Polaris. Now Polaris is the bright star in the tail of the Little Dipper or Ursa Minor. And that is uh, the brighter star just to the left of center between the two trails. And you can trace out the small dipper there heading uh, upward and to the right from Polaris. Now Polaris not the brightest star in the sky but is the central point because it happens to be very close to the north celestial pole of Earth meaning that it is essentially fixed in the sky it always retains its same positioning and everything seems to rotate around it. Those stars closest to it make smaller circles and those further away will make much larger circles eventually crossing the horizon. But those stars close enough will actually always be above the horizon from that location. So if you can see Polaris, you will always be able to see it no matter what day of the uh, what day of the year you choose to go out and look for it. So that was our picture of the day for January 7th of 2023. It was titled Space Stations in Low Earth Orbit. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be where you come from. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.